everybody. So I'm sitting in my car on Academy Road. I just visited a tea shop called Cornelia Bean. They've got teas and coffees and all sorts of good things. And I bought a whole bunch of stuff that I'm gonna show you in a bit. But I did wanna show you, I bought myself a chaga latte and I've been hearing really great things about the health benefits of chaga. So here it is. And I wanted to do this video right away because I knew that this was not going to last until I got home. So this is a chaga latte with birch syrup and I wanted to do a quickie review in my car. I haven't tasted it yet, so we're gonna check it out. So chaga is a mushroom and it's supposed to be very, very good for you. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research on, uh, on what it is and what it can do for you. But when I smell it, it almost reminds me of soy sauce. It's not a weird smell, but it is. Uh, it also has birch syrup in here, which is supposed to be very good. even describe how this tastes. It's, it's, the first hit is like salty almost and it kind of reminds me of, it could be the birch syrup I'm tasting, kind of a butterscotchy, but definitely a strange flavor. Cool, cool. Um, stay tuned for the unboxing or the unbagging of all my other teas. Hi everybody. So here is my haul from Cornelia Bean and I'm excited to show you what I got. So the first tea that I got is a blood orange black tea and I'm really excited about this one because Sipology has put our blood orange sunrise into the vault until next year. So I'm hoping that this one is very similar and uh, it would taste just as good. Oh my God. <sighs> I can smell the orange immediately. It smells so good. This is gonna be the first one I try, I think. Amazing. So that's blood orange black. The next one I got is a Lake of the Woods fruit tea. And this one has blueberries, currants, apple pieces, hibiscus, um, corn flour, and natural flavoring. And it smells really like tannin, almost like wine. Mmm, it's lovely. So that's that one, Lake of the Woods. And the next one I got, oh, that is their in-house blend, Dark Horse. It's a black tea. And I wrote this down, I had to look it up. It has um, an Assam and Yunnan Golden Rain Black Tea. So it's a strong black tea that goes well with honey and milk. Oh, it's definitely a strong black tea. Mm, this one's gonna be delish, I just know it. So that's that one. The next one I got, I got a Puer Tea. It's called Ethiopian Mocha. And I believe it has coffee and it has some chocolate in it and some almonds. I can see the almond pieces in there. Actually, you can see inside. And I can definitely smell the, the coffee in here. The next one I got is a cinnamon black. And it's heavy cinnamon smell, like the, the scent of cinnamon is very strong in it. You can kind of see the chunks of cinnamon in it. It looks amazing and I can't wait to try that one. And then the last one I got is a vanilla black. I'm just loving the black teas. Oh, yum. And again, the scent of vanilla comes across really, really well. So that was my adventure today at Cornelia Bean and I'm gonna be doing some reviews on these teas, so stay tuned. Have a great one, bye.